Welcome back to Survival Preparedness for Beginners. And today, you're looking at the Pyramid of Survival. That's right, folks. A lot of different types of your dry goods and foods that have been put up and stored in all those white buckets. Now, some of those buckets are food-grade buckets, and some of the other buckets are not food-grade buckets. Because you see, you do not have to have a food grade bucket if you are storing your products either in a Mylar bag or if you're doing vacuum sealing. They don't have to be food grade buckets. Save yourself the time and the money of searching out to find food grade buckets. A lot of your bakeries and those type of places, they may even, if you pre-call them and talk to them, they may save you their buckets and you can get them for free. If not, you can usually find them at your local hardware stores, Home Depot, Ace Hardware, Lowe's, all those different types of places usually sell buckets. Now, it doesn't matter if it's a Home Depot bucket and it's orange, as long as you do have a lid, a sealable lid that you can put on there. All you really need is a rubber mallet, a hammer will also work, and a lid puller. These things that you can do and put away is the pyramid of life for survival. You see, in these buckets behind me are flour, there's sugar, there's salt, there's pastas, there's rice, there's oats, there's beans, there's all different types of products and everything. Now I have took, and as I packed them away, I did label the buckets and I also wrote it into my emergency planner. You see, in your emergency planner you want to have a section on food and what you have stored away. This is just some of the things that I have. I have totes and everything and I've done videos and showed you how I did my totes and where I store them. So if you want to know where that is, check this video right here out. It's a quick and easy way to store away some of your goods, your survival foods, and your survival products, and people won't even know they're there if they come to your house. You see, when you are prepping folks, you have to really concentrate on what it is that you're trying to execute in a timely manner, what I can afford, how I'm gonna do it, and what I have to put up. I started prepping a very, very long time ago. Since the end of 2019, I started ramping up big time on my preps because I saw what was coming. You could read between the lines. And then by March of 2020, all hell broke loose in all the stores. We all remember that. Now with the whole given situation of the war that's going on and how it's going to affect everything, no one really knows the outcome. No one really knows what the Russian president is capable of doing or what he will do. So it's in your best interest to build the pyramid of survival. You see in these buckets and totes, you can also store canned goods if you wanted to. The top bucket in my pyramid of survival is my 72 hour emergency bucket. And in that bucket, I have canned goods. I have dry goods. I have everything and everything you could want in there. The only thing that's not in there is water. I store that outside of my buckets. So this is an easy way for you all to succeed in your prepping. I urge everybody out there that is watching these videos, if you have friends and family, that are on the verge on the fence, not sure if they want to get involved, share these videos with them. The 
the pyramid of prepping and survival behind me could and will save your lives in a time of crisis. And that's what it's all about, folks. My job as a content creator for Survival Preparedness for Beginners is to make you aware, is to make you understand the importance of being prepped and ready. What you all do with that information is totally up to you. I can only give the information to the best of my knowledge. You have to take and build on it. Hey there, everybody. And now it is time for the information on how you can win the Sawyer Mini. All right, this is compact. You can take it anywhere with you for any type of emergency trip or anything else. These things are incredible. Filters out over 100,000 gallons of water out of this little thing right here. Talk about a life-saving addition to somebody's lucky winner to your preps and your survival. Now, what do you have to do to win? Somewhere in this video, I do mention exactly what I don't store in my pyramid of buckets. And you put that comment in below and you'll be entered to win the Sawyer Mini. And I'll be announcing the winner of the Sawyer Mini this coming Saturday, six o'clock live stream. So you all tune in for a great time and to find out who wins. I already gave away last week. We gave away all the, the whole Mylar bag kit and everything else. And this week is a Sawyer Mini. So to all you new subscribers out there that have tuned into my channel, thank you very much and welcome to Survival Preparedness for Beginners. To everyone that's been here for a while, thank you for your participation and making this channel grow. Thank you for everyone for everything that you do for my channel from hitting the like button to more importantly, hitting the share button and sharing it with your friends and family. Because you see, we have to stick together and we have to get the word out. So the more you can share this with your friends and family, the better off we all will be. So now it is time to get back to the video. I wish everybody good luck and listen for what I don't store in my buckets, in my pyramid, and put it in the comments below. So I'll see everybody on Saturday night, 6 p.m. See you there. The pyramid of survival is what you need. So until next time, folks, thank you for joining me on this video today. I pray that everybody out there stay safe. Keep prepping. And until next time, I'll catch all of you on the flip side. Mm -hmm.